Hey there internet, Keith here, and welcome to the Cars and Keith YouTube channel. And this video continues the month of DI Spotless. And in this one, we're gonna do a little bit of an experiment. Now, we said on this channel many, many times that carbon filters help your resin life by eliminating chlorine, chloramines. We don't have a chloramine blocker for this experiment. This is mainly for chlorine. I've checked my water source doesn't have any chloramine. Now, this is if you're on like municipal water, city, county, township, wh whatever it is, uh, treated water. Uh, they use chlorine for that. Pretty simple, straightforward video. We have the original deionization system. This is what kind of helped set my channel out there for uh, DI stuff. Those videos did really, really well. The biggest thing about this is I was just learning DI at the time. I didn't know tons about water quality. I just kind of jumped in. I know much more about it now, which uh, I wish I would have informed better at the time because people will buy this and think, hey, look, he gets that many gallons, he gets that many washes. It, it isn't like that. Everybody's water is different. Uh, even if you have the exact same PPM, your water can be totally different than mine. This is just a quick experiment because obviously this is a very small unit. It's not gonna take long to go through these. So I got four DI filters. They're all from the same company. They're all the same part number. Uh, and that way we can keep a nice control. Uh, we have two carbon filters. So we're gonna do two back-to-back -back experiments to make sure that our numbers match. Either way, uh, we'll run DI resin the first time just on the output side. Uh, we'll leave the input side here empty. Second time around, we'll replace the DI. We'll use a carbon filter. We'll repeat that process. That way we better take these numbers and scale up because these are about, I think about a pound, a pound and a half, something like that amount of resin that's in these. So when you graduate from a 2.5 by 10 filter to a 4.5 by 10 filter, you're basically doubling it. Then we go to the 20 inch housing, you're doubling that 10 inch capacity to that. So this being the max water, if you were looking for one, this is a great intro into DI. These will go pretty fast depending on the quality of your water. It comes without anything, so you have to get two of these fittings. Uh, this is a three quarter MPT to three quarter GHT, uh, double male on the output side. And on the input side, we have three quarter inch NPT to three quarter inch GHT female. So garden hose thread on the outside, national pipe thread on the inside. And I always go for a swivel fitting because the male side of most hoses doesn't have a swivel. So when you're trying to sit there and screw it in because there are a lot of female garden hose fittings that don't swivel, very hard to get it to uh, you know tighten down. I use Elay Quick Connects, I have an Elay uh, trigger gun on my hose. So I'll put in my Elay Quick Connect. There'll be a link below uh, for my affiliate with that, along with anything else in the video, obviously. Uh, so we don't have much to go. I guess you like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into the testing. Before we go any further, we make sure that our meter is accurate. So in a previous video, I did some testing and I checked towards the end of the video to make sure and found out that my numbers were about 20% off the meter i gone out of control because it used to only be like 5%. I guess the meter kind of went crazy. So I bought a better meter. This is calibratable. So I'll be able to tear this out, tear it out to zero. I'll be able to run the water through here at a specific gallon per minute. Uh, then I'll run my stopwatch. We'll throw the hose into the bucket as quick as possible, run for exactly one minute. We'll measure to make sure that it matches. We'll probably try to just run this at one gallon per minute. That'd be the perfect amount. Uh, we have to make sure the flow is perfect, pull it over, uh, see what happens. All right, we're fluctuating between 1.51 and 1.58 currently. Here we go. So we're basically averaging like 1.51-ish. It would go up to 1.58, sometimes drop to 1.44, but Pretty much the majority of time was at 1.51. We're at 12.86 gallons. We're pretty much dead on. Hook our quick connect up here. And then we're just gonna shoot water out this side. Another thing I really like about these meters is it pops out. So if I'm reading this way upside down, all I do is flip it around and it'll, it'll show two different directions. Pretty cool. I mean, I got this meter right here, but these are calibrated for moving water. This water will be moving, uh, so I guess we we'll kind of throw that in there and make sure. But this one right here is the one that uh, is calibrated. Uh, I buy water on Amazon. It's uh, from the same company, HM 
uh, digital. It's 342 ppm at a specific temperature, like 78, 79 degrees. So I'll leave the garage door open. I'll let it get warm in here. And when it was 342, this measured 341. So this is extremely accurate. We'll let it get to about 5 ppm. Once it gets to 5 ppm, we'll just go ahead and call it there. Uh, not that more than that isn't spotless, but if you were using a system like this, when you start hitting that 5, that's when you order your refill. Uh, and then hopefully by the next time you run, you'll be at about 10. I wouldn't go much more than 10. That's sticking right at about 1.51, 1.58 like we were before. About six gallons right now. Uh, meter, run, this meter right here is showing one ppm, but this meter shows zero. Seventy-one point five six-ish gallons to get five ppm. Uh, this is a little bit more than I thought it was going to be. Uh, this reads eight ppm, but it's in the area that's not moving very much, so they're pretty close. All right, so now we have a carbon filter on the one side. We have the DI filter on the inside, a new one. We have everything set up the way it was before. Let's go ahead and run that one point five-ish gallons per minute. This one's rating three, this one's rating two. All right, so we're back, brand new DI filter, no filter on the front here. So that's showing four, that's not good. Maybe that first container was a fluke. This is showing two. Oh, we're at five. At 47 gallons. This whole experiment is just going haywire. So we're going to do the next set. See what it comes out to. We're going to have to regroup probably and do this a different way. New carbon filter. New DI filter. What could go wrong? Two ppm there. This is measuring three. There's five. 57 and a half or so gallons. I mean, we got numbers all over the place. Well, welcome to the next day and obviously a part of the video that I didn't plan, but uh, here we are. So after letting these sit all night, kind of draining out, I noticed some differences between some of them. This one right here seems to have way more foam pad on the bottom versus these other ones. So I don't know if there's just a certain amount of resin in here. They all like, they feel about the same. If you haven't seen the videos before, I call it Columbia Bam Bam because obviously you know what it looks like. But what it looks like is why I really like this resin. It's the cheapest on Amazon uh, in anything that's this size. But it being vacuum sealed like this makes this store a lot longer. And then when you cut it, the material is really strong. So when you cut a corner, it keeps this nice profile that makes it pretty easy to pour. But we're not gonna pour with this because these are very, very small bottles. So I have my funnel here and I have a cup. So I guess we're just gonna Tony Montana this uh, bag here. about perfect so all of them are going to be 1.54 let's go ahead and try one so foam pad goes in that's good oh yeah we still got we still got plenty of push room that way we're not forcing any resin around the edges oh yeah Perfect. That is zero PPM water coming out right now. Pretty consistent on the gallons per minute. Switch to total gallons. Up. 
we're at five. So 22.78 gallons. All right, we're all set up. We have the carbon filter on this side, new DI cartridge. Let's start it. That water is reading zero. Oh, it's reading one PPM and not zero PPM. Oh, it's back down to zero now. Good. Twenty seven point six six right at that five ppm mark. So that's five gallons more. Third round of testing. DI empty. Let's go. And that is oh it's one ppm. Let's let it go for a minute and see if it gets better. Ah uh, oh one ppm. Nope, there's five. 20.16. Fourth and final round, we have DI resin and we have a carbon filter zeroed out. Let's roll. One PPM there. Oh, that one's a zero. Okay, we're back on track now. Oh, there's 5 BPM. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It was 26.89. We got some pretty good consistent numbers and exactly what I was needing. Uh, 22.73 and 20.16 were the two non-carbons at an average of 21.445, 27.66, and 26.89 for the two carbon uh, runs. And that was 27.275 average. 21.4% improvement overall. Now, most pages you read from water filter comp companies to everything say 10 to 15%. Well, that's it. Don't forget to check out the links below for anything in the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. How much lingoing? There's always, <clears throat> there's usually always an out. There's usually, there's usually always, uh, not too many bloopers today, so. Here's my cat, Tigger, fluff ball. Ow. My scale. It's sitting on top of the coil. Oh my gosh. It was sitting on top of the coil. You're so dumb. There's no wonder the thing was off by so much. This stuff I do, man. It makes no sense.